I think it's really important to go and listen to podcasts and books and all of the things to consume the positive propaganda. I think that's so important. But also, I think that you have to be in the rooms with the people who are doing it to peel back the layers to actually hear what goes on underneath that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. It's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And I am packing up our lake house today, along with my husband and Nick and Jackie, who stay with us here for the summer. And it is so crazy to me that the summer is pretty much over. Like two months here flew so fast. And I think it's really flying, obviously, everywhere. Like I remember my parents telling me all the time, like, as you get older, it's like time goes faster. And of course, everything your parents say, you're like, yeah, whatever. (laughs) But truly, it has felt like I blinked and this whole year went by. And I remember feeling that way the past few years. And if losing someone in our life and if getting older has taught me one thing, it is that life is far too short and far too precious. So today is one of those days where I'm feeling all the feels in the best way. I work really hard just to stay in gratitude and reflect on all of the great experiences that we had this summer being up at our lake house with family and with amazing friends and really getting to drop in and really lock in a lot of those relationships. That's what we use this house up here for is to invite people who we want to get to know better and that we see in our futures. So I am excited already for next year. And something I was just thinking about, I saw somebody posted something from a friend of mine. Her name is Keisha Getmari. And she had said a quote that essentially you have to see it to be it. She said, you can't be what you can't see. And that really got me to thinking about what you feed yourself is what is possible for you. And I remember a long time ago hearing about a Native American tale. It's the tale of two wolves. Maybe you've heard of it, but I want to read it to you because it's such a good and simple reminder of what we consume is what will win. So it talks about one evening, an elderly man told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside of everyone. He said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside all of us. One is evil. It's anger, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. And the other is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. And the grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked his grandfather, but grandpa, which wolf wins? And the old man said, the one that you feed. That's it. The one that you feed. The one that you feed the most is the one that's going to win. And this is so powerful because... If you need to see it to be it, then you actually have to feed that part of you. You actually have to feed yourself with possibility. You have to get in the rooms that feed you and show you exactly how it's done. Now, I think it's really important to go and listen to podcasts and books and all of the things to consume the positive propaganda. I think that's so important. But also, I think that you have to be in the rooms with the people who are doing it to peel back the layers, to actually hear what goes on underneath that. Because there is a place where sometimes seeing it, but not understanding how it happened can actually disempower you. So if you're in a place where you're like, I'm consuming all the things and I'm actually feeling worse, it might be because you're not actually hearing their path. You're not being in these rooms and being able to ask, well, how did you start? How did you get through the hard times? How did you make it through what your family was saying? How did you make it through when you thought you were disappointing everybody? You need to be in the places where you can peel back the layers to hear about the real journey. And today and this week, I want you to remember that the things that you're putting the most time into are the things that are going to be birthed into reality into your life. So if you want your social media presence to be better, you have to spend more time feeding that. You have to spend more time creating that. 
if you want to get better at something, you have to have looked back at your week and said, I put in some good hours. In fact, if you want to get better at something, you probably have to say, I put in three to 10 hours this week into that thing, maybe more, three to 20 hours into that thing. If you want to be learning more, you need to be reading for an hour every day or listening to a podcast every single day. So it's the thing that you feed the most. And I woke up in the middle of the night the other night, two nights ago, and I woke up at 3.30 a.m. And I was like frantic with anxiety. You know how you just wake up some nights and you have something on your mind. And I had something on my mind about my business, just a decision that I have to make really quickly. And I made myself sick about it. And in the middle of the night, I had to remind myself, hey, right now you're feeding your fear. You're going down the fear spiral. You are thinking of all the things that could go wrong. You're thinking of the things that if you make the wrong choice, what people could think. You're making a decision from your ego. I had to literally talk myself off the ledge and say, hey, what are you thinking of right now? Like you're thinking of all of the things that could go wrong. How about you start thinking of everything that could go right? And now in the middle of the night, you're not exactly in your right mind, right? It just feels like everything bad. You want to pull in something that you said in the sixth grade that made somebody feel bad and you relive these horrendous moments. Or you think of something that you said to someone and you're like, why am I so awkward? Oh my God, they probably think I'm so weird or whatever it was. Or, oh my God, I sent that email and I haven't heard back. What are they thinking? You spiral out of control. But you have to remember like, that's so normal. But at the same time, I made sure that I woke up the next morning or actually didn't sleep at all. I got up the next morning and I talked to Chris about it. And I talked to Nick and Jackie who were here. And I literally had to say like, I just have to talk this out because I want to be ready to move on from this. And I need to go do all of the things that make me feel good. Like I'm going to go feed the positive wolf, right? I'm going to go feed joy, kindness, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. I'm going to go feed all of these things that are, are going to make that other part of me win right? I don't want to let the one take over that's in that negative anxiety, all of those places of fear. And if I kept feeding it, and if I didn't do the things to get myself out of it, then I'll stay there. So if you want to see it, if you want to be it, if you want to make sure that you are letting your dreams manifest, if you want to become the person that you want to be, you have to get inside of the rooms that are going to make you believe that it's possible. You have to think the thoughts that are going to make you believe that it's possible. And so I talk about this so much on this podcast. Obviously, I called it Earn Your Happy for a reason because I am the person who needs my own medicine that I'm preaching. You guys, I need to hear this every single day because I'm not kidding you. I can be as high as a kite on a Wednesday and somehow on a Thursday, the next day, I can literally be like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Did I eat something weird? Like, how can I again feel like I'm in a place where maybe I don't feel as good as I want to? Well, I have to go and feed the positive wolf again, right? I have to go and do all those things. It's a daily thing. Every single day, you have to figure out who you're feeding and make a conscious effort to feed the wolf that you want to win. So this is something that I practice every day that I need reminders of every single day. And I just wanted to remind you that it's as simple as which one you feeds is going to be the one that is going to win and that you are going to be every single day. And so if you see it, if you think it, if you feel it, if you put yourself in those rooms, that's what is going to manifest. And that's who you're ultimately going to be. So I'm sending you guys so much love and know that I am on a cross-country road trip right now. I am headed back to the West Coast. I'm super excited. I feel like this was the exact kind of energy flip, energy change up that I needed to really recharge and go back strong. And I'm like in such a go season right now. So if you are in a go mode with me, you're probably going to hear that throughout the podcast for the next few months, maybe longer, however long the season lasts for me, because this is definitely the season that I'm in. So I will be sharing what I am doing to really pump myself up and stay in this energy of launching, of getting out there, of growing, because that's where I'm at right now. So if you're there, you're probably really going to enjoy the content over the next few months. And I will see you next week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, earn your happy. Hey, 
Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back. And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to Circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14-day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool.